I was injured before the, the Rob fight. Yeah. I don't like to say that it feels like a disrespectful thing towards Rob and it's not an excuse at all. Yeah. But you know, I have a, a small fracture in my foot. Yeah. Um, that's that's one thing and a few other niggles. You know, I fought, I think I fought three times in the last seven months. I fought Darren Till, I fought Derek Brunson, I fought Robert Whittaker. You know, it's not the fights, it's the caps that, that get you injured. And, well, there was a few fights, a few of those fights that we shouldn't have taken. Before the Whittaker fight, I wasn't even supposed to take shots for the first two weeks of camp because of my nose. I was still not allowed to go full contact, so I'm going to fight Robert Whittaker and I can't start my camp for two weeks full speed because of that. But, you know, the same with the, with the fight uh, in March against Derek Brunson. After the toll fight, there was quite a few injuries. And, you know, just the... Every time we said, okay, after this one, we can relax a little, and then we get the opportunity to fight uh, a number 10 guy, then a number five guy, then the number one guy. I can't say no to that. I can't say no to that. But now I've earned my spot as number one middleweight in the world. And now I can, you know, make sure that I'm ready for that fight. I am ready for that fight, but also dictate and say, listen, I've, uh, I've always been a company man, I've always, when they phone, I pick up, I said, yes, they phoned for Robert Whittaker. Nobody else would want to fight Robert Whittaker. Who'd they give them? It took me a minute, not even. I went, cool, Robert Whittaker, when, where, just look at the logistics. Yeah, let's fight. I've always said yes to every phone call, and I'm definitely saying yes, but right now, you know, I want to I wanna really push and make this happen in, in Africa. I want to push for that. I want to push for myself and Izzy to fight each other in Africa, and I think it's possible.